everyone. Welcome to day 14 of our workouts. Today, we're going to go again with back, core, and glutes. Today, we want you to try and advance the moves, really work hard, get some heavier weights, have your band ready. Let's go. Okay, everyone, for our first exercise, you're going to need either a band or a towel, and you're going to hold it on either side. Stand nice athletic stance. Band is out in front, and all we're going to do is we're going to pull apart, hold for three, two, one, and release. Hold out for three, two, one, and release. And we're just going to go for 10, okay? Remembering to breathe the whole time. Keep it going. It's like you're pulling that band apart and release. Keep it going. Making sure that you're always at shoulder height and release. Give me two more. And release. Last one. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, for our second set, we're going to advance. All we're going to do is we're going to pull out, come up, pull a little more, come forward, pull out, and then come back down. So on the way up, you guys, you're pulling apart the band. And again, we're going to go for 10. So we're really engaging. That's one thing I love about a band is it keeps the muscles engaged the whole time through. Keep it going. Pull that band apart on the way up and back down. Just two more. And last one. Okay, roll your shoulders back a little. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a little bit more dynamic for our next one. You're gonna do that same pull apart, but we're gonna do it with a reverse lunge. So here we go, starting in front, up and forward. Remember at the top of the move, you're pulling that band apart, okay? Always remembering to breathe, keeping the core nice and tight. Whoa, I'm feeling it already today. We've just got three more. Three, two, give me one more. Wow. Whoo, I'm burning. Wow, that feels so good. Okay, you guys, our next exercise, we're gonna go with the row. So you can, again, use your band or your towel. Just a bent over row, okay? So basically hold your band in half. Feet are wide. First, just kind of adjust your hands so you're in. All we're gonna be doing for our row is pulling those elbows back, okay? So here we go. Retracting those shoulder blades, pulling those shoulder blades back together. You can't really see this, but I am pulling on that band and making sure that I'm having that tension, keeping the band pulled apart as I do my row. I'm hinged at the hips, I'm not bending forward, okay? For one, one more, and relax. Great job. Go ahead and put your band down. If you have some weights, we're gonna advance a little and add in some weights, okay? Just pick a nice, comfortable set. We're not doing a lot of rest today, you guys. Take a big, deep breath. Find that position, again, nice athletic stance hinging at the hips and here we go drive those elbows back keeping that nice neutral neck position your eyes my eyes are looking just in front of the mat in front of me kind of helps to keep the body lined up keep it going for three you can do it two and one just shake it out for a little second Loosen off the neck, rolling the shoulders. Okay, for our next one, we're gonna go with tempo. So if you have heavier weights, you could make it harder with your weights. I have one set, so we're gonna go with tempo. So what we mean with that is, get into this position first. We're gonna go down for three, two, one, pull back. Three, two, one, pull back. Building strength, you guys, is all about time under tension for the muscles. And when you slow those moves down and make it more purposeful, 
your muscles are having to work a little bit harder. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Give me one more just for fun. Come on, you guys. Great job. Okay. Weights are down. We're moving on to my favorite exercises of all time. And that's a glute bridge. I'm gonna really work those glutes. So go ahead, feet are planted nice and firmly on the ground, you guys. Go ahead, place those hands by the side, engage your core. All you're gonna do is lift up off the floor. We're just gonna hold here for a couple seconds and back down. Squeeze the glutes at the top and come back down. Great job. Keep it going. It's all about squeezing those glutes, making your body work. You don't ever want to lift up too high, just kind of keep that nice angle between the knee and the hips. Three more. Two. Body weight's pressing through the heels. And there you go. Great job. For our next set, it's really great. You can add a little bit of weight. All you're gonna do is place a dumbbell on the hips, okay? So just place it gently. I don't want you to hurt your hips. Go ahead, place your dumbbell on your hips. You can kind of keep your hands up to help support it. From here, we're gonna lift up and hold and back down. Lift up and hold and back down. Focus on your body weights in your heels. You don't have any of that body weight in your neck, okay? So really focus on that. If you're feeling weight in your neck, adjust yourself. You wanna make sure that your upper back is supporting your body and your heels. Three, two, and one. Now before our final third set, of course we're gonna advance again. I am gonna apologize in advance. We're isolating one side and we're just gonna do one side at a time and you're gonna feel it, trust me. Okay, so from here, all I want you to do, first push up, leg comes up and then we're gonna drop down for 10. Nine, keep it going. Pushing through the heel, lifting the hips, keeping the core nice and tight. If you're not comfortable with your leg up like this, just go ahead and bring it a little bit lower. Just find the position that's comfortable for you. You've only got two more, you can do it. One more. And relax. Hug your knees for one second. Plant the feet back down. Again, I like to lift up first to find my nice bridge position. While I'm in position, go ahead, lift that leg, and then let's go for 10, nine, keep it going. For the harder exercises, we always forget to breathe. I want you to breathe with me, okay? Don't forget to breathe. We've only got four to go, four, three, Ooh, see that top leg shaking? It's all good. We're getting strong together. Knees in, hug, hug, hug. Our next move, you guys, we're still down on the floor, but you're gonna move into that hands and knees position for me. We're gonna kill those glutes, are you ready? Working the hips with this one, hips and glutes. Hands and knees position, we call these fire hydrants. Leg comes out to the side, very subtle, small movement. Eyes are looking down, hip comes out to the side. Trying to stay as neutral as you can. Count with me, we're going 10 each side. Here we go. Again, this is all about isolating, finding your balance. Sometimes these smaller movements you just feel them so much more. Give me one more, you guys, you can do it. And take a little rest. Just sit back, enjoy for two seconds, little stretch. Come back up into position. We're just gonna repeat that on the other side. Core is nice and tight. Eyes are looking down, taking the foot out to the side.
keep it going. You should be really feeling it on the outside of the glute. Keep it going. Give me one more. And then let's relax. Okay, like with all of our moves, it's all about progressing. So we're gonna progress on this next one with a hold, okay? So we're gonna lift the leg, we're gonna hold for two seconds, we're gonna come back down. Again, I always say it, it's about time under tension. So we're making that control happen. So deep breath in, get yourself set. Hold for one, two, back down. Hold one, two, back down, you got it. Super controlled. I love slowing down the movement. One, two, and hold. We've got three more, you guys. You can do it. Three, two, and one. Shake it out a little. Let's go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Roll out your wrists before you get going if you need to. Get yourself settled and then here we go. One, two, back down. One, two, back down. Now when we have a little bit of weakness in the glutes, which we all have, your body kind of wants to open up. I don't want you to open up. I want you to try and keep that stationary leg in position and let the leg that's lifted be doing all of the work for you. If you find yourself starting to open up, I need you to slow it down. Give me one more. Great job. We're gonna advance for this one. If you're not ready for it, that's fine. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a little kick out to the side. Roll out the wrists. Find your position. And then from here, you're gonna lift up, kick out, and back down. Lift up kick out and back down. Nice controlled movements. Again, trying to keep those hips still. Three more, you guys. You can do three more. Three, two, and one. Sit up for one second. If my shoulders are feeling it, I know your shoulders are feeling it. Let's roll them back. Okay, we've got this. Back into position, other side. What you do on one side, you must do on the other. Lifting that leg, kicking out to the side and back down. Again, resisting the urge to move the body. Keep the body nice and still. It takes core control takes you controlling those glutes. You've got it. Give me three more. Three. You got it. Two. And one. Great job, you guys. Okay, for our last exercise, we're gonna take it down to the floor. Whenever we're working our core, you need to work those lower muscles in your back. They're called the erector spinae. And we do that using a move called Superman. We're gonna progress it. So work with me. Eyes are looking down at the mat. Arms are out to the side. Let me move my weights a little. There we go. Keeping my feet down. All you're gonna do, lift the chest up off the floor, arms up off the floor. Again, it's another one of those movements that's very subtle. Subtle movement. Keep it going. Four. Three two and one great job take a little rest and then we're going to advance again this time we're going to go up and we're going to hold on this next set so with that we just did a one up one down this time we're going to hold and really challenge those lower back muscles go with me lift and hold one two back down hold one two back down you've got this Halfway there, guys. Keep it going. I know you got this. For five, four, 
These are a really small muscle group. I can really feel those muscles working right now. Give me last one. Great job. Let's have a little bit of a rest. Okay, it's all about progression. It's all about making it a little bit harder each time. If you've not done this movement before, I want you to stick with the one that we just did. However, if you're comfortable working this muscle group, we're gonna go ahead and lift the feet up off the floor and the arms and chest at the same time. So, engaging the core, here we go. We lift up and back down. Getting those legs up. Not too high, just a little bit. Again, all of these movements are very subtle, small movements for those small, stabilizing muscles of the body. The way that we're progressing, give me one more. The way that we've progressed with these workouts, starting with the easy version and working our way up, is a great way to warm up the muscles before you challenge them for that next move. As always, you can always make your weights heavier, make the workout a little bit harder. It's all about you and your body. And I really hope that you enjoyed working out with me today. See you at the next workout.